Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back, finally, to some FNAF news. I know it's been a little bit, but on the plus side, because it's been a little bit, we got a bunch of crazy news to take a look at today. We got some crazy news on an upcoming story in Tales from the Pizzaplex, a bunch of different merchandise news from Funko, from YouTube, from... That's right, Pillow Pet, some game news, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you are excited, please hit the like button if you're new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time, and subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. So to kick off this video, I realized that the anniversary was quite a long time ago, but a few days after the anniversary on August 12th, Stewell actually provided another anniversary drawing for us. As you can see, it features the FNAF 1 gang and also some characters from the latest game, Security Breach. I'm always down for more artwork, it looks amazing. Speaking of Security Breach, a brand new book coming out pretty soon is the official guidebook Security Breach Files. I believe it comes out next month in September, but someone was able to get it early, and they posted a few screenshots online of some of the pages in the book. As you can see, this is a look at Chica, Monty, and Roxanne's pages. Let's just ignore the fact that they gave a sun quote to Chica. Hey, hey, are you having fun yet? Are you? Are you? Then here's a shot going over Princess Quest. That tiny picture in the center is, I believe, of the sewer section with Chica. Then a picture of the page four ending five, become a VIP, where it states you have to get all the golden plushies, which is the way I did it during my playthrough, but apparently that's just wrong. Then here's the page for Vanny, and yes, I do believe this is the only page that gives a detail <laughs> explanation of Vanny. And then finally, a page for ending six, the Afton ending. Now, as amazing as the design for this book is, Unfortunately, it seems like it's filled with just a lot of misinformation, which is a real damn shame. It seems like that's just a curse with all the guidebooks that FNAF gets nowadays. I mean, if you remember the Freddy Files, you know just how much of a pain it was to get accurate information in those books and official, like, character renders. But anyways, that's the Security Breach Files book. It comes out pretty soon. Speaking of previews for books, the second Tales from the Pizzaplex book, Haps, has been getting a few previews, specifically one of the stories in the book called Help One. I'm not going to go over the previews here, but it does talk about someone who works at a VR company, and that person is an indie developer. That's right, if you've played the game Help Wanted, you may recognize that story. So if you want to check out the previews, you want to theorize what's going on with the story, how does it connect to FNAF, what's the meaning of it all, I'm actually going to leave a link down to my buddy Ozone's channel, where he's made plenty of videos going over the previews and also the book. Moving on to some games, you may have seen that FNAF Plus has been in the news a lot recently because we just got the official Steam page for it and also a brand new trailer. Now I did make a video going over the Steam page and also a video going over some secrets we may have missed in the trailer, in some of the screenshots, some mechanics. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this topic, but again, if you want to go check them out, they'll also be linked down below. Pop Goes Arcade just released its soundtrack over on Steam. If you want to go check it out, buy it. It's only two bucks. It features all the songs in the game, even some songs you can't play on the jukebox. And also, while you're over there, don't forget to check out the brand new Pop Goes Arcade update 2.3.0, which just came out not too long ago. Faster battles, a new BB ability, balance changes, and a ton of other optimizations. Now we definitely got to talk about the new Funko Snaps which, if you remember a couple months ago, actually got leaked alongside a couple other Funko merchandise. Well, now we actually know what they look like, and they're pretty interesting. As you can see, they're little figurines, which come with detachable bodies and faces and accessories. Right now, we're looking at Bonnie and Foxy. Bonnie comes with a pizza guitar, which he's never had up until this point, but... I don't know, I kind of like the idea. Foxy comes with an It's Me sign from Pirate's Cove. Here we've got Baby and Toy Bonnie in a bundle, and also Freddy Fazbear and Springtrap in another bundle. Now, Baby's head, you can actually switch between open faceplates and closed faceplates, which I think is an amazing idea. She comes with her microphone, Toy Bonnie comes with his guitar, or maybe that's actually Bonnie's guitar. I can't remember, they have pretty similar guitars though. Freddy and Springtrap off to the right. As you can see, Freddy has a guitar and Springtrap has a little, um... <laughs> plush trap on a stick? I don't- what is that? <laughs> it's a weird accessory. I think it's kind of cute, but definitely a strange accessory for spring trap. Though I do love how you can take off the mask and see uh, the actual, like, corpse and skull inside the suit. That's awesome. Then you can also get some sets. As you can see, Golden Freddy comes with the dining room and show stage. Chica comes with the backstage. I do like how angry the cupcake looks. Pretty intimidating. And also, here's a collection of promotional images featuring them in some poses with their accessories. So you can get an idea 
idea kind of what they look like. Then there's also a carrying case for all these guys that actually looks like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, which I think is an amazing idea. It really fits the theme and it's not just a stereotypical carrying box for these toys. No, it actually, it looks awesome. It fits the aesthetic that the toys are going for. Those are the brand new Funko Snaps. I do believe they're up for pre-order right now. I think they release September or October time. Then we got a brand new FNAF board game officially revealed, the Night of Frights game. Now you may remember us taking a look at this board game I want to say a couple months ago when the box art got leaked, but now we actually have a proper look at the board game itself, some of the mechanics, what we can expect to do on the game. The new board game lets two to four players take on the role of iconic animatronics from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Play as Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, or Freddy Fazbear. Players compete to scare unsuspecting security guards that patrol the pizzeria after dark. Collect pizza and cake, use your unique abilities to gain the upper hand, and outscare the other animatronics. Play cards to set traps, sneak down the hall, and hide in the shadows. It's a race to see which of you can frighten the guards at the perfect moment to capture them. Suspenseful, push your luck gameplay keeps everyone guessing until one player catches the guard. At the end of five nights, funny, Five Nights at Freddy's, the animatronic that has successfully captured the most guards wins. So that's our first official look at the brand new Funko board game for FNAF, the Night of Frights game. Now, a collaboration that I don't think anyone saw actually coming was FNAF and Pillow Pet. For a long time, it's been a meme, but the other day, the official Pillow Pet Instagram account tweeted out that they're working on a FNAF collaboration. They did use this image, which I just want to say straight up, this is not what the plushie is going to look like. Pretty sure this is just an edited picture of the meme that's been going on for years and years at this point. There is a listing on Pillow Pet's site, it says coming soon, and the price is going to be $35. So if you finally want this dream to become a reality, it's going to cost you <laughs> a pretty penny. So yeah, just another insane collaboration FNAF's doing that I don't think anyone actually expected to happen. Speaking of plushies, the Fanverse plushies, Pop Goes, Candy, and Classic Blake actually released today. We got some more images of them a couple of days ago, and also we get an official look at their tags, which do feature the Fazbear Fanverse logo with a unique design. A few people, including myself, were kind of worried that they were just going to use a basic FNAF tag. And even though I'm not a fan of the official Fanverse logo, it's still cool to see them get, you know, unique tags. You also may notice that the tags feature a special edition sticker, which usually means they will be released outside of the United States. When these guys got announced, it was revealed that they're GameStop exclusive, so a lot of people outside the States were like, oh my gosh, wait, how am I going to get these guys? Especially because they're not on any websites. Thankfully though, because they do have this special edition sticker, hopefully at least, it seems like people outside of the States can get them. Like I said, they did release today and they should be appearing in stores going into September, but also the end of this month. So if you want to cop these guys, I highly recommend checking out your local GameStop, or again, maybe just stocking a few web stores every now and then. And finally, to close out the FNAF news video, we got some news on U2s, a whole bunch of news twos on U2s. First off, for some kind of old news, it looks like they're looking into the idea of making a glitch trap figure. Because a little bit ago, someone reached out to U2s and asked, hey, are you making any help wanted figures? And U2s replied with working on some glitch trap ideas. So that's incredible. I personally would love a glitch trap figure. I can't wait to see what they come up with. And also, let's get this out of the way. Their security breach and FNAF 1 plushies officially launch tomorrow, August 26th. Though unfortunately, they are only going to be available for 72 hours. So if you want them, you better act quick because these guys are going to sell out fast and they're also not going to be available for pretty long. And also, YouTube's hosted another AMA on their Reddit, so <laughs> they got a bunch of FNAF questions. Let's try and rapid fire through some of these. First up, they expressed some interest in making some merchandise for the Withered characters. They announced that Springtrap is officially getting a figure and that it'll be out by next year. Someone asked if we were getting any more Vanny merchandise merchandise and YouTube's replied saying yes we have plans for another Vanny in 2023. Not quite sure what they mean by that. Another Vanny figure, another Vanny plushie. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. They also said that they're gonna be releasing some cool non-vinyl and non-plush FNAF items that they think people will love. So that's gonna be interesting what they're talking about. They confirmed that the Fanverse figures, Pop Goes, Candy, and the Ignited Freddy figure will be dropping next month in September. And interestingly enough it looks like they already have plans for some Ruin merchandise that will be coming out next year 
which is also the speculated release date for the DLC itself. So that's going to be super interesting. They apparently said you never know with a smiley face in regards to making some fun time animatronic figures. They said that Ennard could be a cool idea and that he could happen. They announced some shoulder plushies for some FNAF characters, which we will talk about in a little bit. They said that they don't have plans for healthy or lefty figures as of right now. And they did say if the fanverse plushies sell well, they would definitely make some more fanverse characters. That's very exciting. I would love to see more fanverse. I freaking love fanverse merchandise. Please, YouTubes. Then we also got confirmed in the current AMA that the upcoming YouTube's footsies product is a Vanny. If you don't remember YouTube's footsies, they're like slippers, but they're like 120 bucks, so. Yeah, I'm sure those will sell well with FNAF fans. And finally, YouTube's left a quick description of what a shoulder plushie is. They said, plushies with little magnets so you can hang them on your shoulders as you walk. I don't... I... How does that... We don't have magnets on our shoulders. The magnet can't hook onto anything. I don't freaking know, man. <laughs> but that is all the FNAF news for now. Quite a lot, so hopefully you all enjoyed it. A lot of different stuff to look forward to books, merchandise, official games coming out. It's crazy. It's a great time to be a FNAF fan. Looking forward to news. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.